people expect that dogs or cats or rabbits or parrots are only going to make friends with their own kind, but in fact, lots of different species really benefit from making friends with other species. Almost always, when that happens, the two have been introduced to each other at a critical period of learning and just have come to accept each other as friends. Friendships blossom sometimes in strange places, but they're friendships all the same. Check out our top five far-out friendships captured on tape. All right, here we go. Odd couples. Our first unlikely duo are a blue and yellow macaw named Ozzy and a boxer named Layla who don't waste any time getting hot and heavy. Oh, tongue on the first date, really? The French kissing is insane. I can hear a little Marvin Gaye in the background. And you can see the parrot's little black tongue that actually contains a little bone which helps in terms of manipulating and turning nuts and the sort of things that these birds eat. Things are really heating up between these two. Uh, you two need to get a room or a cage. Sometimes opposites really do attract. Rolling in at number four is a baby raccoon named Frannick and a golden retriever named Teddy. <laughs> Are you my mama? Oh, what is going on here? I think somebody thinks that is its mama and is looking for dinner. These two should be mortal enemies, but Frannick is just a baby. What's going to happen is this raccoon's going to grow up to trust dogs. This is an unlikely couple, but they really seem like they're friends. Looks like this cuddly combo will be best buds for life. Hopping in at number three, it appears we have a case of mistaken identity. Wait, is that a rabbit? Oh my goodness, that is a rabbit. <laughs> I'm not sure if the dog even knows that it's not another dog. They're having a great time together. I like how they both agree that there's going to be a little time out. All right, let's get a tea. Rabbits don't normally pant, but I, I think that rabbit's almost panting. And back in. It's pretty amazing when you think about it, because really what we have here is fun and games between a predator and a prey animal. That's a match made in heaven. Those two, friends for life. Horsing around in the number two spot is a boxer named Daisy and a miniature horse appropriately named Romeo. There is nothing miniature about this budding friendship. I think it could be a little love.